Welcome to Science One with me, Teacher Zach. So, students, today we will talk more about friction. <clears throat> Let's think. Here we have two things. Do you remember the vocabulary word for these two things? The word is texture. Texture. How do you spell texture? T. E. Tex. X. Chur. T. U. R. E. Texture. Repeat after me. Texture. Number one, we have rough. Rough. Next, we have smooth. Smooth. Which surface has more texture? Rough or smooth? Rough. Which bicycle has more friction? A or B? More friction. Right? A. Why? The texture of the ground. What is the weight of the bus? In kilograms, what is the weight? Do you remember? It's around 17,000 kilograms. Whereas, what is the weight of the car? How many kilograms? If you guessed around 1,500 kilograms, then you were correct. Which object is heavier, has more kilograms? The bus or the car? Which object has more kilograms? Is heavier? That's right, the bus is heavier. So, which object produces more friction? The bus or the car? If you guessed the bus, then you were correct. Finally, what we know now is more weight equals more friction. Repeat after me. More weight equals more friction on Earth. Again, Friction! There are good and bad things about friction. Good and bad. For example, when we have something good, we call that an advantage. Please repeat after me. Advantage. Question is, how do you spell advantage? Advantage. You can guess A D V A N T Advantage J -j A G E Advantage. An advantage is a good 
or useful part of something. Good or useful. The opposite is a disadvantage. Disadvantage. A disadvantage is a bad or useless part of something. Advantage. Good, useful. Disadvantage. Bad, useless. For example, here we have ice cream. An advantage of ice cream is that it is tasty. And that is a good thing. Advantage is good. A disadvantage of ice cream. If you eat too much, it is unhealthy. That is a bad thing. Remember, disadvantage is a bad thing. So, there are more. Hmm. When we say good, do you think we mean advantage or disadvantage? Advantages. There are more advantages of friction than disadvantages. Let's look. First review. Which way is the ball moving? The ball is moving right. But which way does friction pull? The opposite direction is left. Friction is a force that moves the direction of a moving object. The same direction? No, we say opposite. Opposite. Advantages of friction. Let's begin. Number one. We need friction to walk, run, and play. If there was no friction, no friction on Earth, it would be impossible to walk. It would be impossible to walk with no friction. Which has more friction? Ice or grass? More friction. Think of texture. Grass has more friction. Grass has friction and it is easy to walk on grass. Easy, easy, easy. But ice has more or less friction. We say less. Ice has less friction, so it is not easy to walk on ice. Friction allows objects to, do you think, speed up or slow down in these pictures? Speed up or slow down? Right. Friction allows objects to speed up.
Friction allows things to move. What do you think? Faster, slower? We say faster. Friction also sharpens and smoothens the blank that touch. We look. Here we have a knife. The knife is very dull, so we rub it on the surface. Surface is the word. Friction sharpens and smoothens the surfaces that touch. When we sharpen, sharpen the knife, it is very sharp. Friction sharpens and smoothens the surfaces that touch. What direction does the bottle go if we open our hands? Up or down? Down, of course. So, what is the direction of friction? It is the opposite of movement. It's up. Friction is holding it up. If there was no friction, we would drop everything. We need friction to hold. Friction allows us to, again, we say, hold objects. Repeat after me, please. Friction allows us to hold objects. Friction also gives out. What do you think this word is? You know it. The word is heat. Friction gives out heat. We need heat and friction to start fires. We need friction to start fires. That's how we eat. Here's a question. Is the ball moving? Yes. What about here? Is the ball moving? No. We say the ball is still. Repeat after me. The ball is still. Friction allows objects to stay still. The ball is not moving. It is staying still. Friction can also blank moving objects. In football, the ball is moving. And then it can stop moving objects. Friction can stop moving objects. Now, let's go over the Remember, good is advantage. So what is bad? We say disadvantages. Disadvantages. Remember, an advantage of friction is that friction sharpens and smoothens the surfaces that touch. 
We need friction to have very sharp knives. Sharp knives to cut food from friction. But this leads to a disadvantage. Friction, we say, wears out surfaces in contact. Because of friction, our shoes get worn out. Friction wears out surfaces in contact. Movement. Which way is the car moving? Easy. It's moving right. So again, friction is going left. Friction can a moving object. When we ride a bicycle, we pull the brakes. Friction can slow down a moving object. Slow down. And last but not least, friction. It gives out unnecessary blank and blank. Here, we have a car. Because of the friction, it is giving out heat. It also can make noise, loud noises. Friction gives out unnecessary heat and noise. Please open your workbooks to page 52. Thank you.